Okay, it's 80 degrees in the shade. And that's about the temperature that the pool will sit at if you don't have a heater. Now if I take my temperature gauge and take reading on that, uh, right on the side of the pool I'm getting uh, 83.8 degrees about. That's that's kind of hard to get a good reading here because I'm actually in the sun a little bit. But I'm shining it right on the hose coming out of the pool. Well, there's 83.8. That's pretty accurate right there. Now I'm going to go over here and we're going to check the inlet side. And on my inlet, I've got 86.5. Again, I don't know how accurate that is because the sun's actually behind a cloud right now. But I can actually see the temperature dropping because, yeah, see, 86, 85.6 is dropping because of the. I saw it jump up there. There's a shot of the valving. The three red valves are the cold coming from the pump. And then there's two pipes coming down that are now uh, two join into three. They're the hot coming off the units. And we're up on the roof and these are the units. There's one. There's two that are side by side. And then there's another one here around this side of the house. Now this time of the day, the shadow kind of blocks this one, just like in the morning. The, the morning sun doesn't gets to this one, but not the one back here. There's 160 square feet of material here. And now the sun's back out. On the inlet side, it's 91.4, and on the outlet side, it's 100, well, 99, 98, 99, Now the reason that these are 98 degrees, 97 degrees, instead of 153 degrees is because there's actually water flowing through them. These units have a, an orifice in the center between the inlet and the outlet, I don't know if you can read that or not, where the inlet side, the water goes in, it hits the orifice and allows some flow to flow through, but most of the water is diverted down to the other end. And then it just crosses from one side to the other and then flows right back up this side. So that's why on one side the temperature, like you can see here, on one side the temperature is 89, 88, 89 degrees coming in, but 98, 99 degrees going out. So that water gains 10 degrees in that one unit. The reason there's such a conglomeration of pipes here is because I actually have three separate circuits. These two here are together on one on one valve so if, by turning one valve on these two come on this other one on the we'll call it the west side of the house it's on a valve by itself so I can turn it off in the morning and vice versa the one on the 
east side of the house is on its own valve so I can turn it off in the evening which I'll be doing here shortly at four o'clock that you thing is usually completely in the shade I used inch and a half line all the way from the pump up and I used inch and a half on all three of the units just because I wanted to make sure there was no drop in flow rate because of the plumbing. It's probably overkill. With that big a pipe, air becomes a problem. Trying to get air out of those pipes is a problem because this one here that feeds over to that side has got two pieces of inch and a half PVC that come clear over the peak and come around and then come down to the valve and there's a lot of air in those. When you turn it off, if there's the slightest pinhole of air anywhere that can get in, it, the water goes down and it fills up with air and it's a heck of a thing. Every morning it takes me a half hour to bleed the air out of them. But once they're bled, they do pretty good. Okay, I don't know. I'm shooting this. It's just me going down the ladder. <laughs> no reason other than just for the fun of it. Up and up and down this ladder 50 times in the last two days. I just put this stuff back up this year. We had it last year also. Okay. Well, over here, here's our just a small sand filter. And we're running about, uh, let's see if we can see that, about 6 psi on the gauge. And that's with the, the bypass completely closed. So all the water comes out and it can't pass the bypass. It's, it's shut. And it goes right up the, the upside and goes up through the valves that are open and through the thingies and comes back. And it comes back down here, hits the shut bypass valve, which forces it then to go right up into the pool. Now, if I want to not push water through the uh, the units like at night when it's cold because they'll suck the heat out, I'll just open that valve up and it, the pressure is the same on both sides and so it will hold it will hold the water at a certain level over here but it won't actually circulate it. It just goes straight up and into the pool. It doesn't heat any but it doesn't cool either because it will cool the water off at night if you leave those if you leave the water run through the units. Some days when it's really hot the pool will actually get too hot. Right now like I said now on this side on the shady side it's only 80 it's only about 81 degrees showing over here. 81 and a half, not even that, 81. And that's really the only way to tell. I could look at the bear. Let's see here, let's see what the bear says. And the bear says, one sec, one sec. The bear says 86. So the bear says it's 86 degrees in the water. That's what you have sometimes. Sometimes your temperature measuring devices do not agree. You just got to go by what you like. We like it about 88. Uh, we like it about 90 on the bear. And I don't know what to tell you on this thing. Probably more.